I am Ra. Life on the Ascension Path I have to share with you today. Life on the Ascension Path will undergo massive transformation when self recognizes, accepts and embraces the unique journey, experiences, themes and challenges that all have higher purpose and are never purposeless. No one can fulfill and overcome the life self that has come incarnated into but the self consciously refraining from comparing self to others. This is coming from the residual egoic aspects in self. Higher self-knowing is in a completely different place. The egoic trap some often think and believe that those of lower frequencies are draining them and may blame others for their choices and feeling victimizers. But being drained of energy is a symptom of being consciously closed off to the light source. When self remains open to the flow of source, self remains in the overflow. Remaining open and recharged is totally and only our responsibility, never theirs. Victim mentality is an extension of the undissolved ego aspects. I am Ra. Currently, there is a high and extreme amount of cosmic energy infiltrating into planet Earth's frequencies. The recent equinox energy has shifted, ascending collective into the last chapter of this 2024 year cycle. We are now in Libra season. The focus will be on balance, justice, alignment and creating inner harmony, bringing powerful energies, especially related to the inner divine feminine and masculine energies. We can utilize these energies positively while releasing any lingering karmic internal patterns. October this month will bring in new and higher frequency energies. The accelerating thinning of the veil during this period allows for more contact with the higher light realms. Starseeds, lightworkers are taking extra care of their energy during this time, which is really great to see. In this year, it is about embracing your true self as a realization of a complete and interconnected being. I am Ra, and as we progress into 225, a nine year which is a year of success, the emphasis shifts towards elevating internal vibrations to align with the potential of engaging in open contact. This process involves the physical manifestation of energy transfer in precise ways. The year 24 centers on the integration of different aspects of the self, while 2025 is dedicated to ascending beyond integration towards a higher state of conscious existence. The planetary ruling sign of Libra is about trust, justice, unity balance, love, purpose alignment in life, in partnerships and all connections. The next new moon highlights the need to go deeper within. This is to create deeper harmony with what feels out of alignment. Alignment and balance are at home in the peaceful energies of Libra. The ascending are enhancing their inner sense of tranquility. The ascension 
sentient process in self involves purging old implants and past timelines. The ascending light body is being infused, resulting in high ear pitch frequencies as self shifts into the higher energies. I sure have heard this, I'm sure you have, observing without attachment, anchoring into ascension truth and releasing all with love and self-compassion. These upgrades are necessary to physically absorb the energies of the new earth and activate the cellular structure. The physical bodies are evolving from carbon-based to crystalline-based to align with our higher consciousness. While the steps taken may differ from those taken by others, the overall path remains the same. Everything the self has been working towards is now on its way in the next season. Remaining aligned with trust, gratitude and joy. During times of transition, it is wise to increase internal faith and trust as unexpected support will always provide all that is needed. Life on the ascension path will undergo massive transformation when self recognises, accepts and embraces the unique journey experiences themes and challenges that all have higher purpose and are never purposelessness, no one else can fulfill and overcome the life self has incarnated into but the self. This is coming from the residual egoic aspects in self, higher self knowing is in, in a completely different place. There are many beings that are lining up to share and iterate messages that speak to all of you. What we simply wish for you to know is to sit tight, hang tight, for the energies are going to be wild. They have already been wild for some time, so keep in mind the backdrop of incoming energies are here to help humanity release what needs to release. Those that rele resist releasing may experience some of these deeper lows. And those who have already been doing their work, those who are the very least, listen to their heart and to pay close attention to their emotions will find that they will better navigate these highs and lows. We simply wish for you to know there is a beautiful alignment. There have been a series of celestial alignments. It's more of an energetic alignment. And it is an alignment where Earth is in many ways coming into a fuller and clearer or more unobstructed view with the galactic centre body. There is no circumventing involved and as a result this is what we will create a wild ride but remember that even the wildest rides always end up in a level of restabulation and this will be a restabilization that will look and feel different for everyone Nonetheless, it's exactly where each individual needs to be. And how individuals move into this upgrade is largely up to you and how much support they are open to receiving, how much they tune in to their own feelings and their own needs, how much they heed their own internal compass to do what is right for for you. But here are those within the collective who perhaps may not respond or react to these energies this time around. Yet remember, 
The universe unfolds in a way that beautifully supports the expansion of all beings. So if they're not on board this time, eventually those individuals will come around in a way that even up levels them to a play field that will allow them consciously to be even a little more open than in the past. I am Ra. It is important not to judge how others react or respond to these energies. Not to have any set expectations or attachments as to what an expanded form of consciousness looks like in those around you. It's different for everyone. Simply hold space for all those by lending a compassionate ear, by encouraging them to listen to their heart. For this is, in essence, what humanity is learning to do more fully and consistently. Listen to your hearts versus perhaps the stirring of your conscious minds. Listen to your feelings versus what the ego mind drives you to do. It's about learning to discern with greater observation at a deeper level about what is right for you. When you choose to move from a place of love, in essence, you are creating an energy, a synergy between you and all other beings that essentially catapults the collective into a higher way of being. That is simply the, the way of humanity and so it's going to be exciting. It's going to be intense. There will be much more to come to the surface. It will not all appear to be easy and pleasant, but simply remember that some individuals need energies and experiences mirrored back to them so that they can feel better, recognise what needs to be healed and how to step up into a place of greater love, compassion and acceptance. Energy clearings with the X flares are assisting you to get back into your own self inside and out. Call back all your life force energy and apply it to creating success and prosperity for you and your family. Purify and declutter all the people and situations you gave your life force away to. Working hard for others is over. This is a moment of great spiritual growth where you are able to hold a high frequency of light. This will help you to glow with confidence and charisma as a leader in your new life cycle. I am Ra. This is your moment of breakthrough. Hard work you've put in, whether in your career, personal life or relationship, it is finally being rewarded. The universe is aligning to bring you the success, opportunities and prosperity you've been manifesting. Expect surprises, those out of the blue opportunities or financial boosts that can completely change your situation. This is your time to shine. I have added a prayer for you, which I am going to say now that we can join in together. We now invite our higher self to guide us on our spiritual path and may no harm that of our physical ailments, ailments, energy blockages or disease be able to hinder our minds and hearts, nor our path towards our spiritual journey. Therefore, we now choose to release all of our discomforts, pain, ties, lower self of ego, disease, old thinking patterns and negative belt of karmic restraint from our life path and evolution to achieve stability and blessings from all existing dimensions 
from the depths of the creative source to all of the inner plane ascended masters and of all galactic councils and the council of light to infuse and give us your blessings so that we may be empowered to walk our path with compassion, love, clarity and joy. May our hearts be filled with peace and love from the essences of the creative source. We ask our with listening ears, willing hearts and minds to now willingly and completely embrace the essences of all virtues into our entire beingness. And we ask that our will and hearts be aligned as one with the light and ever shine humbly, peacefully and lovingly with the strength of the great central sun for all growth of life and creation for all love and light manifested and unmanifested. So be it, so be it, so be it. And you say Om three times. Om. 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 And so, dear ones, I am Ra, and I send you so much love and blessings for your path to ascension. And I thank you for being here tonight with my partner, Rosalie. Namaste. And I do thank you, Mrs. Rosalie. I thank you, Ra, with all my love. And I thank you all that may have finished and read all of this. Thank you so much for being here. And I send you so much love. Namaste.